Hi, my name is Karen Manji, Vice President of Customer and Market Insights at Salesforce. What does that really mean? I have to be honest with you, when I was growing up, I wouldn't have had any idea that this kind of a job existed. So let me take you back in time a little bit through my story before I tell you what my job actually means and what I get to do on a daily basis now. When I was growing up, I loved going to school and I always wanted to be a teacher. And by the time I was ready to go to college, I thought that I wanted to study music education because I sing and I play the piano. And I thought it would be so much fun to have a career where I could share that joy of music with other people. Well, I got started into some of my teaching classes and discovered that maybe I didn't want to do that as my full-time job. And as much as I loved music, I was afraid that if I had to spend my whole career trying to use music, something I loved, as a way to make money, that I might not enjoy it as much anymore. So I ended up changing to a different major. I decided to study international business because I loved the idea of being able to travel the world and I had also been taking Spanish classes. And one of the great discoveries that I made during that period of time is that even if I wasn't going to study how to become a teacher, I would still have opportunities to teach people things throughout my life. And even if I didn't have a career in music, I could still sing and I could still play the piano and I could still enjoy those things immensely. Well, as I came out of college, what I had the opportunity to do was continue my education right away by getting a master's degree. So imagine I did four years of college and then after that studied information and communication sciences for one more year. That led me on a path where I had the opportunity to go to work at AT&T, where I did sales and sales leadership. Then I went to a technology company called Cisco, where I also did sales leadership and then moved into an aspect of opportunity that helped fuel what I do at Salesforce now. My job was to spend time listening to our customers. Do you ever give feedback to people? Maybe letting them know, did you enjoy the restaurant? Or, you know, how were the snacks today that you had at school or in your meeting? Well, that's something that I get to do for companies all the time, which is now that I'm at Salesforce, we have lots of companies who do business with us and they're located all over the world. And for us as a company, it's really important to understand how's our relationship with our customers? How well are our products performing for them? Where do we have gaps? Is there something new that we could develop that might be helpful and useful to them? What other problems are they trying to solve and how could we solve those problems with them? And most importantly, where do they see the future going? I mean, imagine if I had had the opportunity to work with Apple before they invented the iPhone. Imagine if I had been able to ask customers about what they wanted this mobile device in their pockets to be able to do on a day-to-day -day basis. And that's sort of what I get to do at Salesforce now. Sometimes I'm flying around the world and meeting with companies in person to ask those questions. Sometimes I'm reading through answers that they provide to surveys. And some other times I'm having conversations like this where I'm using video technology or using the phone to ask questions and build relationships and understand what we most need to know from our customers and from the people that we hope will do business with us in the future. We call those our prospects. And what's great is because I'm writing a book right now, I'm having the opportunity to teach people how to do customer listening in their own businesses. And I've incorporated that love of music into my life, not just by listening to music on my phone on a day-to-day -day basis, whether I'm exercising or cooking dinner. I also serve on the board of the Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra which means I have the opportunity to make sure that everybody in the community has access to music. So what's a day in my life like? I have to tell you no two days are really the same, but a couple of things hold true. First of all, I spend a lot of time meeting with customers, asking questions and understanding what that feedback means. Next, I spend time reading and learning. So how the world is changing, how business is changing, what's trending now, who's inventing something cool, and where we might have the opportunity to go next. And third, I spend time writing, whether that's a blog 
a video blog, or working on my book, I try to take what I'm learning and put it into lessons that I can share with other people. So as you think about what you want to be when you grow up, and by the way, you get the opportunity to change that definition lots of times now and in the future. So don't stress yourself out about choosing just one perfect thing. What I would really encourage you to do is think about what is it that gets you excited? When you start learning, where does the time totally escape? I mean, do you like to build things? Do you like to invent things? Do you like to quietly manage something? All of those are clues about the kinds of careers and opportunities you might, might want to pursue in the future. Because I think it's all about understanding what excites you, what energizes you, what you want to learn more about, and what you think is fun. Happy thoughts about choosing your career, and I hope that maybe you'll take a few minutes to check out Salesforce. It's a really great place to work. Have a great day.